Hello, I'm Fanatical Light, and holy crap, there's 200k fanatics. This is actually a bit crazy considering a month ago I was at 100k. Since beginning the pretending series, which a lot of you are here for, there's been a pretty big influx of people discovering my channel, a lot of which stay for a variety of reasons. Some might stay because of my voice, sounding like a particular someone, others might stay because of the amount of effort I put into editing my videos, maybe it's a gameplay. I've heard people staying because I'm generally a chill person or give off those kind of vibes. Perhaps it's a combination of what I listed or various other reasons. Whatever it is, I'm making this video just to talk as myself to you all. And if that doesn't interest you, perhaps the upcoming important announcements will. You're also going to see Minecraft gameplay just like the old days where you just commented over a Call of Duty video. So please bear with me. So hi, I'm Fanatical Eye, and I consider myself an enigma and so do a lot of my friends because of what I do is very secretive or behind walls. In case if you didn't know already, I'm another faceless con content creator and I'm sorry if you want to see my face, it's just not gonna happen. I am genderless and I prefer they them for pronouns but I don't really care what you call me at the end of the day. I generally left it up to the audience to imagine how I look like and everybody has their own image as to how I behave in real life as well as how I look. Regardless, that still hasn't stopped the hundreds of comments over the years asking why I dress like a girl on Roblox and to that I say I don't know. Also I wrote the script around answering as many questions as I possibly can while still talking about myself. Also, some of you have been requesting that I make a Fanatica mod and to that I say I don't know if I'll ever get around to finishing it, but you know, it's a little sneak peek. However, I did make an 80k Q&A special in case if you want to watch that for whatever reason, so it's right here in the corner. Anyway, let's get into announcements, at least the first one. I mentioned this in my 200k livestream as well as on Twitter. Majority of you haven't seen it, but I do tweet important things I feel like or personal life. So if that seems interesting to you, my Twitter is in the description and you could go follow it. It also helps me a lot because I can have more reach as an influencer. So you know how Funky Friday has secondary characters, right? I've seen a lot of people use animations that require secondary characters and wish they had a specific character, such as a gaudy. Garcello, etc. I probably slaughtered that name. So I decided to solve this problem by breaking my wallet in half. Yeah, I, I actually mean it. I made several different Roblox accounts. These Roblox accounts look like the characters from various different mods. And boy, is there a lot of them. I'll put them up on the screen, but you have CJ, Ruby, Tricky, Agati, Rav, Sarvent, etc. You can also check out the account profiles to see what they're wearing using the show items and copy their outfits that way too. You know, in case of the costumes link in pretty much all my videos is a bit hard to keep up with. I'm looking to expand this character list in the near future and that's why I need the assistance of you all. Thanks to Roblox giving me the opportunity to be a star creator, I now have the star code FANATIC. With more people that support me by buying Robux or Robux gift cards using the star code, I can continue doing this and not break my wallet because it's screaming in agony already. I do request one thing and I don't request a lot of things from my audience, especially my fandom as I usually can do it myself. But please do not be an ass and think it's okay to steal account names in case if I plan to expand the list sometime in the near future. It makes it harder not only for me but for everybody because now they have to find a different username when they could have just put Fanatica and then the character name for convenience sake. However, if you secure the account name in case if I haven't already and give the account to me, that's a different story and I'll personally commemorate you. So how do you know if an account is officially made by me? It will be in my Roblox group Private Fanatical Gang. This is the same group where you can find other accounts with costumes as well. Speaking of Roblox groups, I now have an official Roblox group called the Fanaticals. Link is in the description if you want to join it. If I do update the costumes in the near future, I will announce it in this group here and you can have a look at it. I won't lie, this is a pretty big announcement as it costed hundreds of dollars but I hope it helps a lot of you out there. Anyway, let's move on to a different segment of the video, the future of the channel. Usually when I talk about the future, there are some people out there that think, oh no, are you gonna quit FNF? And my answer is no. However, I do want to make more videos other than FNF. I don't want to be known as a one faceless creator that did FNF once upon a time and then fade into obscurity. I want to be that one person that helped make millions of people out there smile or entertain or like maybe even change a couple lives or two and I'm doing that right now by doing what I love because some of you have reached out to me and sent a very heartfelt message on how like I'm your comfort youtuber and that already <laughs> does mean a lot 
But going back on topic, these videos I am thinking about releasing at some point in the future will have the same editing style and hopefully some hilarious moments somewhere along the line. I'm gonna take a moment of this video to say Void Content 1 is still being worked on. I mentioned this in the 80k subscriber special, in case if you haven't seen it, I suggest you go check it out. Since I made that announcement, I sorted through a thousand pieces of footage, and wow that is one gargantuan of a number. And this footage ranged from like being from 2019 all the way until recent, but basically I'm picking out the moments that I think is funny and hopefully we can do something with it. If that sounds interesting to you, I suggest you check out the video whenever it releases, probably sometime next month. And I do want to collaborate with other content creators whether it be for showing up for a video in my own video or else on their Twitch stream or streams. Speaking of which, this is a segue for the second big announcement, Symptom Fanatica or Cantum Fanatica depending on how you want to pronounce it. Over the past couple of months, I sent out a lot of DM requests to a lot of content creators and streamers and out of 27 DMs, I got 3 back. <laughs> I don't know why, but probably because they look at my channel and see Roblox content and immediately think low of me. Oh, this Enigma plays a Lego game kinda sussy, not gonna lie. Or they hear my voice and are afraid that I sound too much like corpse. It is a very real possibility considering one of the DMs I got back from somebody, they told me they're afraid that their audience would think corpse is here and immediately start raising hell when in actuality it's me fanatica and cue to the disappointment that or whatever I sent got got buried, maybe they seen it or just ignored it, one of the four. And so on my Twitter account, I was like, I'm gonna do something crazy if I don't get a response. And you know what? I didn't. And so I'm gonna make my own team, Centum Fanatica, 100 Fanatics. This is purely an experiment and I'm not even sure how this will go. Hell, for all I know, this can be successful and kickstart several careers or fail completely and never hear me mention it again in a month. We'll see what happens. The team will be mainly focusing on chilling and vibing as well as competitive and casual playing and whatnot. Basically, looking for people that play games other than Roblox. We're talking if you're platinum on Apex and looking for people but also want to have a fun time or else if you feel like playing Dead by Daylight with people just as a chill game and no toxicity, this team is that. I will be recruiting a hundred people, probably more as I plan to make influencers and friends immune to taking up slots for various reasons. There will be a few requirements and rules in place and I'll say this right now. I don't want people under 16 signing up and I want people to be chill and vibe. This means be respectful and don't be toxic. I don't want to have to send people to the gulag if they're already part of the team so please don't make me do that. I'm going to mention something none of you have probably heard. The podcast. Some of you have approached me because you've seen Fanaticast on Spotify and you're like, what? what is this? You have a podcast? Why aren't there any episodes? I did have a lot of episodes planned. Unfortunately, my co-host at the time, we had a bit of a falling out. I will not go into details as I respect the privacy of every party involved in the situation, but let's just say it wasn't good. However, I do have plans to bring it back. I just don't know when and how I'm going to go about it. Because to me, Fanaticast was is that type of podcast where I just sit down with my friends, talk about what I did in my career and personal life as well as what my friends did, maybe invite a couple of guests. You know, just a general podcast where you get to listen to me talking about a lot of things. Basically, the more personality side of me for one hour. Anyway, I haven't completely abandoned the podcast. I just don't know when it's coming back again. Hopefully soon. Anyway, that's going to be it for me. My voice is kind of dying throughout the end of the script and I do want to give myself the proper rest. I wouldn't mind sitting down making more videos like this and this style of format. However, I know that a lot of people don't really care for this kind of thing and they just want to see more FNF content. But if you made it to the end, congrats, you deserve a cookie. Anyway, until next time, I'm Fanacolite and take care of yourselves.